On August 7, as the sun was sinking, opposition leader Nelson Chamisa was inspiring his followers in Norton who had waited all day for his message of change and optimism. The day had been exhausting for the nascent opposition leader. He began by speaking to the morning at the funeral of the deceased CCC activist Tenoshi Chetsanj and then held another protest in Mandoro before traveling to Norton. In Norton, the affable young leader kept his audience interested in his address while displaying no symptoms of exhaustion. Neither the first nor the last time Chamisa spoke to several groups was this one. The opposition presidential candidate in Zimbabwe is showing the country remarkable passion and vigor as the election date approaches. Chamisa has been speaking at two or more rallies every day, painstakingly traversing the difficult terrain of the nation to spread his message of change and optimism. He has been doing this with an unshakable commitment to connect with voters. He is seen speaking to adoring crowds from early in the morning till late at night, enthralling them with his charisma and vision for a better Zimbabwe. It is no secret that Chamisa has chosen to spend his nights away from his home in order to make the most of his time and meet as many voters as possible. Chamisa thinks that making the sacrifice will guarantee that his message is heard by every citizen and that no voter will be left out. His speeches are replete with assurances of a recovering economy the creation of new jobs, and enhanced social services. He inspires and gives the crowd hope for a better future with his eloquence and charisma. I don't recall ever sleeping at home before. I have decided to pay this price in order to liberate Zimbabwe, Chamisa declared during a rally in Karamanzi. His fans have praised him for being willing to go above and beyond, quite literally, to win over the public. Romeo Chaucera, a political expert, claimed that Chamisa's demanding schedule demonstrated his dedication to interacting with his supporters. His commitment to speaking at several rallies each day shows that he understands the value of engaging directly with the people. Hearing their concerns and offering his vision for a thriving Zimbabwe, Chaucera said. Lange Zandebeli, a health professional, advised Chamisa to keep an eye on his health because exhaustion would soon set in. Chumisa's health and well-being need to be carefully watched because of the physical toll that frequent travel and speaking in front of groups can have. In order to stay in top shape for the campaign trail, he must find time for relaxation and renewal amidst his hectic schedule, Nebeli remarked. Speaking at several rallies has also presented difficulties, according to the police, who claim that it poses security dangers. The police repeat that night rallies pose a security risk since they jeopardize every safety. The police issued a statement in which they urged political party leaders to carefully plan their public gathering activities and refrain from endangering public safety and movement by holding many demonstrations in a single day, some of which would continue into the night.